I'm Sammy Simon. Uh, I'm a rice farmer down here in Winnie, Texas. And I purchased a Helio Ag-122 drone to spray our rice. So far we've sprayed herbicides on our rice. Uh, we, have not, we haven't tried any of the fungicides or pesticides yet. And we're, uh, we've actually sprayed some of our hay pasture as well. We're getting good results. Everything's being burnt down. We really have not, haven't seen any streaks yet. And so it's done, it's done what it's advertised to do. It's done perfect. Right now we're going after uh, certain weeds and grasses, nuts edge, sprinkle top, stuff like that. And we're, we're trying to catch them right now while it's small. The drone has been a, a good tool because we can actually get low enough to a ground where a plane usually can't get there. And we're getting a good application on these smaller weeds and pests that we want at an early stage instead of waiting until the rice is at a later age. When we first started, we went with, I call them T1 nozzles. I think it's a 1.5. And the, one, the, the smaller ones did a good job if you had low wind, like say five, seven mile an hour and lower. And when the wind picked up, we went to a, I call it a T2 jet. With the, the smaller nozzles, it puts you around 11 miles an hour and it does an awesome job. But when that wind picks up too and you go to your bigger nozzle, you can actually pick your speed up. And we went from, I think, a a four and a half to five minute load with the smaller nozzles to a three and a half minute load with the bigger nozzles. So we're, we promote the bigger nozzles for speed anyway. When I took it to the airport to get it tested for my swath and my coverage, it did show that the coverage on the drones was a better coverage than a, a plane. My swath, they put us at 23 to 24 foot swath, but it could go up to 27 if you wanted. That was awesome too. That brought my swath width up way higher than what I was expecting. I tell everybody this is precision spraying. You're getting every corner you want. Any spot that it's hard to get for a plane, say if it's power lines, will keep us from getting right here on the edge of the field because they got to fly over them. And with a, when a plane spray, usually they have that overspray. It can cause problems as you can overspray it and get on somebody else's land if it's close to you and money saving. When you're doing 200 acres, you're saving a little bit of money with your overspray, but when you're doing thousands of acres, that's a lot of money you're saving just on that wasted chemical. And also where it's gonna come in effect too is when we have, say later, when this rice is a little older, spot sprays we need to do. It might be five acre spot sprays here and there, it might be 30. It's really not efficient to hire a plane to come out here and just spray five acres because they do ask for a minimum acreage. Now in the planes are typically charging $11.50 to $12 an acre. And I, I can only imagine it's probably gonna go up higher with just the fuel and everything. That's the cool thing about the drone. There's no overhead. You don't have no fuel, you, you just have battery. Your little fuel, fuel you use is in your generator. And if you wreck it, you don't wanna wreck it, but if you wreck it, nobody's life's in danger. You just go fix your drone. Plane, there's, there's different obstacles you gotta go around. First called in to inquire about these drones, uh, I talked to a guy named Arthur from the get-go. He was very, very in touch with all of the setup for me. He got me on the right idea to choose the right drone, uh, told me everything I needed to get, everything I was required. Very helpful. I probably wouldn't have gone through with it as fast as I did if I didn't have the help like that when I first started, because it was a lot of unknowns for me. Even on the tech side, anytime I have something I need, a part I need, or a question with the software, there's no calling in, listening to a machine talk, there's nobody telling me to hold, I can get a hold of everybody I need to get hold of that day. Very personable care on there. I knew there'd be good support, but I didn't think it'd be like this. It's like texting one of your, one of your friends that has a, a drone business. It's close connection. So that's been, to me, that's probably been one of the most important things of it because a lot of people do not understand this new technology and they're gonna have a lot of questions. And that, having your answer right there on a phone call, that's, that's pretty important. Right now, my close future plans would be to be able to cover close as I can to a thousand acres a day. The Helio explained to me that y'all can, we can control four drones off of one laptop. So my plans are to get three more drones to cover a thousand acres a day. Right now we farm thousands of acres of rice. If I could take in as much of that spraying as I could, it would save us a lot of money. 